Greetings viewers, a special welcome to our new member Sariking1350. We appreciate your support. If you also want to support us, do consider joining our channel membership. Today, we're venturing into an intriguing topic, Turkey's annual defense report. We'll be zeroing in on their advancements in drones, tanks, and ships. This insightful report unfolds a host of modernization and acquisition projects that Turkey has been undertaking in the year 2023. So stay tuned as we unravel the details of this comprehensive report. The Turkish Defense Ministry recently released its annual report, highlighting 49 ongoing modernization and acquisition projects across the military in 2023. A myriad of these projects, spanning across various defense domains, sets Turkey's ambitious stride towards bolstering its defense capabilities. Firstly, we have the modernization of M60 and Leopard 2A4 tanks. These tank upgrades represent a key facet of Turkey's land defense strategy, ensuring that their armored forces remain viable in the face of evolving threats. Next, we see the development of the T-155 Fertina, a self-propelled howitzer. This project underscores Turkey's commitment to enhancing its artillery capabilities, providing mobile and flexible fire support to its ground forces. The report also mentions the modernization of the ACV-15 vehicle. This armored combat vehicle is set to receive significant upgrades, enhancing its operational effectiveness in the battlefield. Lastly, we delve into the indigenous submarine programs. Turkey is making strides in its naval capabilities, with midlife upgrades for Preves class submarines and modernization of Barbarous class frigates. These projects reflect Turkey's determination to bolster its defense capabilities. Together, these initiatives demonstrate a wide-ranging and comprehensive approach to defense modernization as Turkey continues to assert itself in the global defense landscape. Let's take a closer look into the land systems. Notable projects in this area include modernization of M60 and Leopard 2A4 tanks and the development of the T-155 Fertina self-propelled howitzer. The M60 and Leopard 2A4, both stalwarts of armored warfare, are getting a major facelift to ensure they remain relevant in the evolving battlefield. This modernization will not only extend their life cycle, but also enhance their combat effectiveness. Now let's turn our attention to the T-155 Fertina, a self-propelled howitzer that's a game-changer in artillery warfare. The development of this highly mobile, versatile, and powerful artillery system will significantly boost Turkey's firepower, giving it a distinct edge in land conflicts. Another crucial project is the modernization of the ACV-15, an advanced armored combat vehicle. This project will improve the vehicle's survivability, mobility, and firepower, thereby reinforcing Turkey's mechanized infantry units. The modernization of these systems will undoubtedly enhance Turkey's land warfare capabilities. Now, let's shift our focus to the air and naval systems. The report highlights the procurement of F-16 fighter jets, acquisition of Akinci and Anka S drones, and development of Herjet and Herkus B aircraft. These projects are more than mere military purchases. They represent a strategic move by Turkey to bolster its air and naval capabilities. The F-16 fighter jets, for instance, are not just any aircraft. They're high-performance, multi-role fighters designed to excel in both air-to-air -air combat and air-to-surface attack. They offer a blend of agility, range, and firepower that few, if any, other fighters can match. Next, we have the Akinci and Anka S drones. Unmanned aerial vehicles or drones have become a crucial part of modern warfare. These drones, however, are not your average off-the-shelf variety. The Akinci and Anka S are both armed drones, designed to carry out surveillance and strike missions from the skies, providing a significant boost to Turkey's unmanned capabilities. And last, but certainly not least, we have the development of the Herjet and Herkus B aircraft. These are indigenous projects, representing Turkey's move towards self-reliance in defense technology. The Herjet is a supersonic advanced trainer and light combat aircraft, while the Herkus B is a primary and basic trainer aircraft. Both projects underline Turkey's ambition to develop an independent and robust defense industry. The upgrades to these systems signify Turkey's commitment to maintaining a strong and modern military. In conclusion, Turkey's annual defense report reveals a comprehensive plan to enhance its military capabilities through a series of modernization and acquisition projects. We've seen a concerted effort to bolster land systems, with projects focusing on the M60 and Leopard 2A4 tanks, the T-155 Fertina self-propelled howitzer, and the ACV-15 vehicle. In the realm of air and naval systems the focus is equally robust. 
midlife upgrades for Privé's class submarines, modernization of Barbarous class frigates, and procurement of F-16 fighter jets are all part of the plan. The development of Herjet and Herkus B aircraft, along with the acquisition of Akinci and Enka S drones, underline Turkey's commitment to enhancing its aerial capabilities. These projects are not just about hardware. They signal a strategic intention to maintain a robust and modern defense posture that is responsive to evolving threats and changing geopolitical landscapes. We hope you found this analysis informative. If you did, please leave a like, comment and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Thanks for watching.